And we welcome in our cut man extraordinaire, Dan Raphael, who does a terrific job covering boxing for ESPN.com. Dan, the frustration is palpable. The exasperation is plentiful. And I'm just speaking on a personal perspective. This would be the fight of the decade. So why won't Floyd Camp agree to fight Manny Pacquiao? I, I wish I had a, an actual answer because... Uh, you're right. It's the biggest fight out there by far. We've been talking about it on and off, mostly on uh, for the past more than a year. You know, both guys went through and had other interim fights, but even when they were getting ready to fight other opponents, when when Floyd was getting ready to fight Shane Mosley, when Manny was getting ready to fight Josh Cloudy, when the fight blew up the first time, going into both of those other promotions, everybody wanted to ask, well, when are you going to fight the other guy? Uh, more so than they were even talking about the opponent that they were facing. Why? I don't know why it's not happening. The Floyd Mayweather camp, complete silence. I've been trying to raise them uh, like they try to raise the Titanic, and uh, they're uh, silent. You know, whether you're talking to uh, uh, his publicist, Kelly Swanson, they can't get any answers. Even she can't get any answers. Uh, you know, Leonard Ellerby, who was one of his close advisors, is returning phone calls, emails, texts, which is not like him. You know, it's just complete silence on the other side. Floyd's off doing whatever he's doing. Well, since we don't have an official reason, it allows us to speculate just for fun, Dan. Is there yeah. any credence to the thought some people think that maybe Floyd's ducking Manny because it seems like Pacquiao's become the people's champ, and right now, pound for pound, he's the better fighter. Well, a lot of people, most people have Mayweather ranked behind uh, Pacquiao on the pound for pound list. I know it irritates Floyd, even though he says it doesn't. Um, but you'd think uh, if, if you were really that irritated, the way to prove is to go in the ring and fight the guy. Uh, obviously, you know, it's not like he's going to be a big underdog or anything. He probably, when the betting windows close in Vegas, he probably would be the favorite. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say Floyd's afraid to fight him. I don't think that's fair. You know, he has fought lots of good fighters in his career. He has handpicked him at times, obviously. Um, but, uh, you know, Pacquiao has continued to stay active, fight the top guys, and go out there and give the fans the fights that they want to see. Very quickly, Dan, who will they both fight instead, do you think? Well, I think as far as Floyd goes, he will sit out the rest of this year without question. Manny Pacquiao is fighting on November 13th. It comes down to whether or not Floyd will come around and accept a deal between now and whenever uh, top-ranked Bob Arum make a deal for another fighter. That was the wiggle room from last night's supposed deadline, uh, or this morning's supposed deadline. Uh, if he doesn't, then they will have a deal in place for Pacquiao to fight either a rematch with Miguel or a fight against Antonio Margarito who still has to get himself licensed in the United States, or possibly they could take that fight to Mexico. But that's what you're looking at. You know, I wish, actually, if he was not going to fight Floyd Mayweather, that rather than go and take care of uh, a Cotto rematch outside the top-ranked promotional stable and look for you know, at least somebody else that's interesting, whether it's Tim Bradley Jr., who's going to fight tonight uh, against Carlos Abregu, who's moving, you know, one of the junior welterweight champions, moving up to welterweight to see what he can do, or fight, you know, uh, Paul Williams, who's been begging for the fight. I mean, there are other opponents that would be more interesting than Cotto or Margarito. Either way, I'll take a street fight at this point. Dan Raphael, <laughs> read his insights at ESPN.com. Thanks for listening. Good luck trying to contact the Titanic. <laughs> Thank you very much.